So over the past years, I've made several mistakes as a researcher when starting a new research project. So that's why I thought to like make a, a, this kind of list of five things I think you need to do when you begin a new research project. So this may sound quite obvious, but when I begin a project, I usually spend most of my time just Googling about the problem. You'd be surprised like how many different kind of uh, stuff there might have been already been done about it. And those different articles could help you to actually start the whole project. For example, I had this project with Jonathan Fraser from University of St. Andrews. And I think we had the project almost a year until we made any substantial progress. And then one evening we were just searching the internet for different keywords about the problem and then we stumbled upon to a wikipedia article about something called itocalculus which neither one of us had ever heard of before and it turned out that this concept was really the thing that saved us and we managed to finish the whole paper so like two weeks later after doing these internet searches we were already submitting the paper to a journal it is important to take into account what other people think as is a reasonable project, but on the other hand, you shouldn't choose the projects because they really care about it, but choose more about what you care about. If you find some problem very interesting and there's a lot of like things to do that you th believe can be done, choose that project instead. So I have found it like very common that when I work on a very boring project, I end up procrastinating most of my time. I'm deliberately trying to avoid working on the problem and then end up just doing something completely different like going to Facebook, YouTube or some other site. So have a think about the topic that you're working on and try to look at if there's anything in the, let's say, applications, the methods or the significance of the problem that you find very interesting. And if there isn't really anything, then maybe it's time to move on to some other problems and topics. I've had several research projects over the years, which I had to abandon because I found that other people were already doing them and were far more advanced in them than I was before. Of course it is encouraging that you find out that other people were interested in the same problem as you were working on, but on the other hand, you will feel like you wasted a lot of time on something. This can be especially important when you are in the progress of applying for different jobs and you want to get a lot of publications very quickly and very good publications and if you just wasted a year or two on something which someone else did, you might be into a lot of trouble if you want to apply for jobs. So what I suggest to do is just to go to websites of people that you might think that are doing similar things or just go to conferences where you might find some of them and just talk to them, just explain about the things that you've already done. If it turns out that someone else is already doing the same project that you're working on, it might be possible that you could join forces and just collaborate on it and make a joint paper later on. One of the biggest flaws that I have as a researcher is that after I've been working in a field for like a couple of years, I tend to think that I know almost everything about the topic that I work on. So then like a couple of years ago I was working on something in my field and then uh, an expert approached me and told me that this stuff that I'm trying to do is very classical and it had been done already like almost 20 years ago. So that's why I suggest that when you start working on something and you believe that this is something completely new and novel, maybe first try to approach a couple of experts and ask their opinion about it. This way you can be more confident that you don't end up repeating old work. Even though you've chosen your research project, that it's not too far from your skill levels and you really find it very interesting and it's quite nice to work on, it's still very easy to lose hope. Like most of my research projects have been lasted for like several years until I managed to finish them. No matter how easy the project may seem like in the beginning, you will end up to some roadblocks and walls that may feel like almost impossible to overcome. So in those kind of situations, it's really important not to lose hope and try to believe in your abilities. And I found it like very important that I had all my friends and family with me, that I could ask them for support. And I feel very grateful that I had them around me when I was doing those projects. So I hope you liked the video. If you have any suggestions or any comments about the things that I mentioned here, please put it to the comment section below. And please subscribe. I'll try to upload similar kind of content on being a researcher into this channel. So I'll see you guys later.